This is an unboxing, a cooking clip from Best and Less. Got a t-shirt bro. Got my son this. Ten bucks. I got this for my daughter. My heart belongs to daddy. My husband's head's gonna be big, you know. Little bodysuit. Another one. Got me a shirt. This was like eight dollars. My daughter dress, timber. Everything that you see here is like affordable or it's been marked down. T-shirt for my son, like three bucks. And never had white bike shorts before, but I got them. Dang it! I thought they were like half. Me? Oh shit. Oh well, there's some money wearing that around the house, but if it's see through, we're gonna have a problem. And the real reason I went to town was to pick up these packagings. And I had another the package that was delivered. So this is for my phone. So it's been made for a long time, so if people really thought that my phone was a broken, it really was. Uh, it's been broken for actually months, but it really started to stuff up about two months ago. And yeah, guess what? My phone's gonna be brand new because I bought the parts for it and I know how to fix it. Yeah, yeah. Good for me. <laughs> this one is from Big Dub. Got me a bun because my son ruined the last one because he just got bored and decided to ruin it. But a few months ago. Finally have got me a pair of this kind. Now, before they released this and made it more fashionable again because this is like 90s uh, I was literally thinking about it. there's so much of things that have been released and it's like after when I thought of something I know there's like other people but whatever but since people can't afford shit I can actually finally get me a pair it's been like four years or whatever trying to get this type I get mine from like Boohoo or whatever like the, I had these pink ones kitty lock Baby proof, because you know my daughter's just walking around. She's but she's a confident woman, you know. So I got these ones. These to plug into the fold. And there's another baby proof. And these are the longer ones for our boy door. So I got for my son a Lego. So he has something to make. And because it's my daughter's birthday, or well yesterday anyway, she's one now. I got her this toy. I don't know what it looked like because I ordered it online and so she loves Cocomelon so this is her first doll. I know for little girls it's always the Barbies and stuff. I wanted to get around to that but I don't know. I'd rather get something that my daughter actually loves. Got me some leggings. I just like to smell the fresh stuff. Got my daughter some shoes. To sort of semi match with her father because he loves uh, what do you call it? Converse and stuff. So they're not Converse, but you know, they're pink, the little spots on them, but they're supposed to kind of replica Converse, but not really. You know how Converse can come in pink and all that kind of stuff and like leopard and all that goes? Yeah. To match with her dad, but I'm more feminine. These are her pajamas. This 10 bucks is Bambi. Cute. Got a white dress for her. So she's got two dresses now. Look at that. It says $25, but it wasn't, it didn't cost me $25, it cost me 15 bucks. Because you know, you girls are bargain kind of girl. 
and got my son some shorts. I got this type of fabric because my son's got these PlayStation ones and I thought he would just like that. A headband because I ain't like hairspraying my hair to like keep the, you know, the little girlies that just want to be out and about. That's what this is for. I didn't know what jeggings or jeans. I thought it was kind of weird to take a baby jeans. But I got her some jeggings. And I didn't know if I wanted to go dark or light. So I went with light to kind of match with me. Because my... I have a dark pair, but you know. I've got to buy me some more. Because going into autumn now. So yeah. Yet again, kind of match with her dad and me. But, you know, like a little princess. And I had to get this. <laughs> So he's a little sister. There was a top that I was supposed to get that says, uh, I think I love my mum from Best and Less, but they ran out. Now Clippers, this is like my third in the past couple of years because the last one I know for a fact my husband took, so they're probably somewhere. And the other one before that my mum stole from me and this one from Anyways, got my son another shirt. Got my son. I wanted to get these the last time, but they ran out. But since, like, you won't come for stuff, I'm not trying to be mean, and I've said it multiple times, but it really goes to show every time when I go out, people are putting things back, they stick into a budget, there's way more stuff. And I couldn't even get this for my son because everything was just selling out so fast. And that's, I hate to say it, that's why people that really can just afford stuff to people actually having money. And there's nothing wrong with that. But to be honest, I actually don't mind. Uh, being able to actually get something that I can get without having to pay like 20, 30, 40 dollars or more for like one thing, you know. So yeah, and this is a size 10, but I'm not too sure if you're going to be able to fit it, but if you can't fit it, then I have to go back and get a size 12. And if you know my son, he's very small. I was kind of stressing about it, because I was looking at his cousin, they size 10, like his pajamas. That's why he's only got one. <laughs> I would have got two or three. Got me a muffin. The muffin man. Got me a muffin pan. I was gonna get the 12, but I don't really bake all the time, especially in summer because it's just too hot. So I'm gonna do those, you call the thing that was going viral, the caramel and all that, but I'm gonna do a little bit different and I think you guys might like it. More tea towels. They didn't have any pink ones. I got the pink ones. Okay. Got my daughter some socks. And yeah, that's about it. Just show you my nail polish. It's orange. I've been wanting this. So the first thing I did before I picked up my order, going straight to the nail section. This is simple. I love simple. Actually, I'm telling you, it's really good. And I've been wanting this. I have like quite a few nail polishes to be honest. I haven't done my nails because I just want to see if they'll harden up and they kind of have but they're, they're just naturally biologically very thin and kind of brittle I suppose. But yeah, I might do me some nails tomorrow. Can't wait, I'm so excited. Finally got on the only one that was there too. Look what I got. Baba. Every time I go to my friend Nature store, so that's where I got my potatoes and watercress one. Grapes, $2.99, are you serious? So when I actually do a big shop, and I don't like carrying stuff in, but to show you guys, it's really, really, it's really affordable if you know where to shop and always support your local businesses because they're getting it fresh from your own backyard. Mm. So good. It's like... How do you explain it? It's like a patty meat. I've got the egg. Mm. I wish they had the, like, the duck and the like, pork and all that kind of good stuff. Mmm. Oh, so yummy. Mmm. 
If you're wondering, the cost between Baked Up and Best in the List was... I don't know, like... 250 I think? Or maybe 230, 200, something like that anyway. So yeah, you take care. Bye.